Hi everybody, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. Today I'm going to focus primarily on the Halo 4 Infinity Challenge. This has been getting a ton of publicity lately, and uh, you may not be aware of what it is or how to participate if you'd like to, so I'm going to give you all the information that you need to know about the Halo 4 Infinity Challenge. Now, in the meantime, I have a fantastic gameplay for you to enjoy. This is on the map Haven, playing with a good friend of mine, DJ Ducky Duck, uh, who's been a friend of mine all the way back to Halo 3, one of my most loyal and trustworthy friends. He has his own YouTube channel, so feel free to look him up and check him out. Uh, I really have a spectacular game here, uh, 23 kills and just a few deaths, and uh, get some nice sprees, a couple killing sprees, a killing frenzy. Some multi-kills, some sniping, a little bit of everything here. I really think you're going to enjoy this gameplay a lot. And uh, by watching, you ought to be able to pick up a couple tips for your own gameplay. Now, in the commentary, I'm going to focus primarily on the Halo 4 Infinity Challenge. So let's get right to that. Now, the number one thing you need to know about the Infinity Challenge is that uh, you need to go to Halo, the number four, InfinityChallenge.com to get all the information. So this is really the hub for everything regarding the Infinity Challenge. And uh, basically what it is, is players are gonna compete on leaderboards and uh, at the end of the time period, whoever's at the top of the leaderboards will win prizes. And the prizes are very alluring. You've got a UNSC theme 2013 Ford F-150 SVT Raptor truck. And it is really wicked looking. Um, additionally, there's a cameo in a future Halo game as well as uh, several other lesser prizes. There's about 1,200 lesser prizes, Halo toys, and other Halo memorabilia like artwork or dog tags, things of that nature. But keep in mind that there's going to be hundreds of thousands of players competing in this competition. And in order to get one of these very few prizes, you'd have to be at the very, very top. And so the likelihood of getting there is going to be absolutely slim. So I, I really wouldn't get your hopes up when it comes to the prizes. Um, basically what's going to happen is that if you want to participate, you need to go onto the website and register. If you don't register, then you won't be, your points that you score during the games won't be included towards the leaderboard. So if you want to participate, make sure that you've registered. Once you've registered, uh, you go into Halo, you, you load up the game, and there's going to be an Infinity Challenge playlist available. Right now, that's the Infinity Slayer playlist. Anytime you play in that Infinity Challenge playlist, then you're going to, the points that you accrue in the game are going to go towards the leaderboard. Now, let me give you the date ranges here uh, because it's a little interesting the way it works out. From December 17th through January 10th, then players are going to compete to uh, for the, their place in a different tier. So everybody's going to sign to one of three tiers. There's either going to be the top 10% of players, uh, the next 11 to 40% of players, and then the bottom 60% of players. So for the first few weeks, you're basically just going to decide which tier that you fall under. And then everybody's scores will reset at the end of that time. And on January 12th through January 19th, for a one-week period, everybody's scores have reset. You're locked into a tier. And then whoever can rise to the top of their uh, tier to which they've been assigned will be eligible for prizes at the top. Now, let me just say that basically this is going to be an experience-based competition because uh, it's, it's based on the amount of points you're able to accrue over time. So even if you're a very skilled player, you're not going to be able to compete in terms of total points with players who play two or three or four times as many games as you, even if they have a much lower skill level. Even if they don't score as many points per game, if they play a lot more games than you, they're going to rise to the top of the leaderboard. So in that sense, I am very, very disappointed with this competition because it's going to reward players who play a lot of Halo, basically 24 hours a day nonstop. And so in a sense, this is really a gimmick. This is just a shameless self-promotion from 343 from Microsoft because interest in Halo 4 is already waning. The game's only been out for a very short period of time and the interest is dropping off very, very quickly as, as everyone can plainly see. And so 343 and Microsoft are just trying to do absolutely anything to get to retain players, to get people back into the game, to get people excited about the game. And unfortunately, there's really not much to be excited about when it comes to this challenge because uh, only a few select players are going to win prizes and basically nobody else gets anything and uh, it's very disappointing and what it feels like to me is that over the last few months 
343 has been devoting all of their time and their money and all their resources, they've been putting it into gimmicks like this challenge instead of putting their time and their effort into creating a better game. And I think that that's the real problem here. Like when we saw the map pack that just came out, it did feel like a very lazy map pack. I think that most people would agree. All the maps were very similar. They weren't very attractive. They didn't play very well. And there's a lot of other problems with the game that aren't being fixed, that are fixable, that are being neglected. And I wonder if it's because 343 is devoting all their time and their energy into gimmicks like this challenge instead of actually improving the game. Because I think most of us believe that the gameplay at its core can be really amazing. It can be a fantastic game. But there's a few tweaks that they need to make here and there to improve the game and make it better. And uh, instead of making those tweaks, instead of devoting themselves to the game, they're devoting themselves to gimmicks, right? And, and that's really not improving the gameplay in any way, and that's really bringing the franchise down. So for that reason, I really, I'm really not very excited about this challenge. In fact, I kind of discourage you from registering because I'm not really sure that it's going to do you much good to, to go in and participate. Um, I want to hear what your thoughts are because, you know, if you think about it, here, here's who's going to end up winning this thing. Um, basically, players who play the game 24 hours a day nonstop uh, for about six weeks straight throughout the entire challenge period, those are going to be the people who win the challenges and climb to the top of the leaderboards. You know, you don't want to be that guy because you know who that guy is? That's the guy that doesn't go to school, that doesn't go to work, that doesn't help other people, that doesn't contrib contribute to society in any meaningful way. That's the guy who just plays Halo 24 hours a day, seven days a week, day and night, does nothing else. You don't want to be that guy. Why would you want to be that guy? And why would 343 want to promote people to become, you know, to complete and total non-contributors? What we need is a performance-based ranking system and a performance-based challenge. That would be fun and exciting, but, um, you know, that's not what 343 is going to do because they're just trying to lure as many people into this game as possible using cheap thrills and gimmicks instead of, uh, you know, producing a really high quality game like, like Bungie did. And so for that reason, you know, I continue to be disappointed with the way that the game is being managed. I think we can all agree that the game is being mismanaged. And I feel like this challenge is just really evidence of that. So I want to hear what you think. Please leave your comments down below. Uh, do you like the challenge? Are you disappointed with the challenge? And will you participate? Why or why not? I want to hear you know what you have to say. Share your thoughts with the rest of the Halo community. I hope you all enjoyed the gameplay here. Uh, again, it really was a doozy. 23 kills and just a few deaths, uh, like I promised. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and learned a lot. Please share your thoughts and ideas about the challenge. I want to hear from you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Add it to your favorites. Thanks for watching, everybody. Halo 4 Tutor, signing out. I'll see you next time.